Welcome back. Make sure you download our relocation guide. Links below. I live in Menifee and I love Menifee. Today we're talking about the top five parks in Menifee, California and the communities those parks serve. Let's go. This was hard to narrow down this to five parks, to be honest, as there are 15 city owned parks and 22 valley wide owned parks, a total of 37 parks with two more parks just finishing construction. The two parks that have been coming soon are Remington Park, which will be five acres and Underwood Park, which will be 10 acres and both are off Rouse Road. Both of these parks are going to be servicing the new homes at Oak Shadow and Durango at Shadow Mountain. Quick side note, I did an in-depth video on Shadow Mountain and how that community is the first of its kind in the nation as it has its own independent microgrid and how every home comes with a battery. So if the California electrical grid ever did fail, they would produce and use their own energy and be able to share that energy with other homeowners in that development. If you wanna go check it out, I'll link it here as well. But back to the parks, we're diving into the details of how big they are, what they have that what might be unique in and around them, and why you'd want to go to this park over another park, and how this can help you decide what community to buy a home in versus another community. Up first, we have the well-known Audi Murphy Ranch Sports Park. This is owned by the city of Menifee and Google Earth here, as you can see, is a little outdated. This is probably completely built out, as you can see in my drone footage. This is probably the most well-known park in Menifee because thousands of people drive by it on Newport Road, whether you're going to the 15 or 215 freeway. This park covers 11.29 acres and has a huge multi-purpose field that fits two soccer fields. It also has a baseball field, a skate park scene here, playground, one small shelter, two large shelters, basketball court, and restrooms. Audi Murphy Ranch Sports Park is a super popular spot for sports teams and tournaments. And those that live in Audi Murphy Ranch community as a resident, you've got access to the master playing community amenities such as the plunge which features a junior olympic swimming pool the children's wading pool barbecue picnic area trails several shade structures as well as the ranch house across the street which features t tennis trails pools basketball barbecue area community center clubhouse and the newest middle school menifee union school district middle school number four broke ground in 2021 and is open for 2023-2024. Stay tuned as I'll be diving into an in-depth video about the unification of the Menifee School District soon. Ranch House shares land with Creekview Park. This community has two parks and then there are also what I call pocket parks where there's a pocket of grass in the community, sometimes with a barbecue stand, shade structure, a table or two. And the pocket park off Coldwater Canyon Trail has an amazing viewing area as seen here. Number two, heading over to Wheatfield Park with the Valleywide Menifee Gymnasium and Menifee Community Center off Menifee Road, which is a Valleywide owned park. This park is massive, 26.87 acres, six ball fields, two lighted fields for night games, one basketball court, two tennis courts, one volleyball court, two horseshoe pits, play areas, restrooms, and picnic areas. And it's also noted that this is right across the street from the new state-of-the-art Menifee Library that opened in July of one. Library offers activities such as virtual reality experiences, arts and crafts, preschool, story time, family fun nights, and has a community room to hold up to 109 people, as well as an opportunity room holding up to 75 people. This this park is centrally located within several different communities versus Audi Murphy Ranch, which is one community. The biggest difference with these homes is that they are often 15 to 20 years or older with no or little HOA. You also have Bell Mountain Middle School literally right in this park. Next up is Lago Vista Sports Park off Holland Road.
this is also a valley-wide owned park and this park was completed in 2017. The Lennar development built around the private and gated community Menifee Lakes. This is a massive 29 acres with three baseball fields, one soccer field, one tot lot, two gazebos, and a bathroom. This park is located near South Shore Elementary School and Thousand Trails Wilderness Lakes, which is an RV resort with fishing canals that weave throughout the park. As far as the gated community of Menifee Lakes that borders this park, the highlight of that community is obviously the lake, the splash pad, and pools. And I would say living in this specific area and or the surrounding communities is about to get a big boost as far as traffic goes the Holland Overpass finally got funded and just broke ground in December 2022. The Holland Overpass, slated to be completed by the end of 2024, will feature four lanes as well as bicycle lanes, sidewalks, and a noise-reducing retaining wall, and this runs right by this park. So stay tuned as I will also be doing a video on the most important projects out of the 105 capital improvement projects that are either done under construction, in design, and or in a future plan down the road. Next up, we have Central Park off Civic Plaza Drive, and this is owned by the city of Menifee. Park is five acres and it's centrally located in the heart of Menifee next to the new courthouse that's under construction and where the new city hall will be built. My office is just a few feet from this park and is a great park just to get away for a few minutes. You have three multi-purpose fields, one large shelter, one playground, a central park stage that may have an amphitheater later, but there's also a current concrete pad there, an area for bands and shows. There's a small water feature as well and multiple kiosks where you can sell stuff for market nights. As small as this park is, it gets used for tons of stuff and I think it's one of the best parks we have, especially for the size and the location is fantastic as you're minutes away from Menifee Marketplace and a nice walking trail. But there is currently a design for a Paloma Wash pedestrian bridge that will let people walk from Central Park over the wash and right into the Menifee Marketplace. So that will be a fantastic feature for these communities right here. Lastly, number five, Heritage Lakes. This is a valley-wide owned park, five and a half acres, two basketball courts, two play areas, two picnic areas, and if you cross the street, you are walking around one of the jewels of Menifee Heritage Lakes. Such a peaceful walk and I really enjoy an afternoon there when we go there. This park makes the list because of its proximity near Heritage Lake. The park is located within the master plan community of Heritage Lake and as a homeowner you'd enjoy the resort caliber amenities including the catch and release lake, paddle boating, clubhouse, swimming pool and more. But anybody can walk around the lake and we often take our dog oh. Cooper there. The Heritage Lake community also has two other parks, Sunrise Park and Discovery Park, and then they have Ethan A. Chase Middle School and Mesa View Elementary School within the development. Now just north of Heritage Park, you have Heritage Lake Sports Park, which features six soccer fields, three tennis courts, four basketball courts, and several pickleball courts, which pickleball is kind of taking over the world. That is all I have for you folks. Please like, follow, subscribe. This helps you learn more about Menifee and the surrounding area. I'll see you in the next video.